All right, so I got a 2000 Toyota Avalon ECU here, and um, I actually, I need to add these keys into it. So I have two master keys and a valet key. Uh, currently, all keys are lost. These keys are not programmed to it. So the only way that I can add these keys is to uh, EEPROM this unit. Now, typically the way I do it is I just read the memory and either, you know, add whatever key I want to do into it or you know extract the key data and write that to a special chip uh, but this time I'm actually I'm going to write a what's called a virgin file to this unit and what that file does is it makes it think that the ECU is brand new and it's like you've just hooked it into your car and brand new ECUs they are in learn mode and it will be waiting for me to add in three keys so for the virgin files they want to see two masters and a valet which is exactly what i got here so the first thing i'm going to do is connect my little tester here and check and just show you these keys are not working and to do that i'm going to pull up a little diagram that i made here to go with this tester but even without it you can still use it uh, so the avalon does have a few different connections that you need um, the, the harnesses all look the same but the connections are a little bit different uh, this is I think this one is the 01 version so I'm gonna try to connect that and uh, on the screen there in the display we can see that we have uh, some connections we have power data and a mobilizer I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the power and that's going to be on pin one, connector E. I don't need pin 16, but I'm going to hook it up anyway, just because I have three power connectors. Uh, you do not need ignition switch. We will not be turning the switch on. And also, you will not need data. Um, I just have it on there because it's, it's pretty useful. Uh, the ground, there's quite a few different grounds, but for this particular computer I think we only need mainly this ground which is D1 I think that's the logic ground and then I'm gonna hook up 21 and 31 as well on connector A and after that I'm going to connect up my immobilizer stuff so this one is I think this one is a mobilizer lamp so this is going to be 22 on this connector can't get it in there okay and this is going to be our switch on pin number 23 now we have our TX which is 18 we have our code which is 28 and then we have our RX right here so let's see if that's going to be enough. Uh, so these are my main powers here. So I'm ground that. I have 14 volts going for this. And here we see our immobilizer lamp blinking. So that's normal operation. Now if we put our key in and pretend our switch is, uh, the key is in the switch. We see that there is no change. I'm going to try this one. We see there's no change. And I'm going to try this one. And now we see there is still, there's no change. Uh, so, we see that nothing is working. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually, for once in my life, use a clip. I rarely ever use clip and uh, honestly I'm only doing it for this video uh, if it wasn't for the video I would have desoldered that put it on the adapter wrote it and been done but you know for the sake of the video I'm going to use this clip I know a lot of people out there prefer to use clips for some reason if you don't have a virgin file to use you can visit my website this one and you can go into the memory dumps and I have some in the virgin memory dumps here 
I, I have a lot of dumps I need to add, like a lot of airbag crash and clears, a lot of um, just like backups, a lot of mileage correction type stuff. All kind of files I'll add to it one day. If you need something, just message me. I'll probably have it. Uh, I'll be happy to put it up. But uh, anyway, so let's go back to business here. Let me open up Orange 5. And I've already loaded it. I'm going to go ahead and just load it again. I'm going to compare what's there. I do not have a good clip. See, this is one of the reasons I don't like clips too much. Okay, so I am going to write this virgin file here. I'm going to compare it. Compare. Okay, so we are done with that. Now I have our virgin file loaded. And we're going to begin to program the keys. And I'm going to start, this is a valet key, so this is a true valet. It's even missing the end cut so that it won't unlock the door. I mean the um, glove box or the trunk. Uh, so I'm going to start with these two masters and then end with this valet. Because when you have a virgin ECU, you want to, you know, program in a special way. So you don't want to mess it up because then you have to take it out and rewrite this EEPROM. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start with a master key and I'm going to insert it into the ignition. Now on your car, wait, I don't, I don't see this light flashing. So right now we should see this light flashing. I had the power off. Okay. So we've just flashed the ECU. Let's pretend we've put this back in the car. You can't see it. You're staring at your dash and you see your anti-theft light flashing. That's normal. What you want to do is you want to put your first master key in the ignition and this button here simulates the key going into the ignition so just because you see me put it here that's not me putting the key in the ignition okay that's just me resting that there when I hit this button that's me pretending to put the key in the ignition I'm not turning it on I'm just inserting it okay so I'm going to insert the key into the ignition and that will flash and then turn solid now I most people probably won't do it this way. This is a special way I've learned works best. So the first thing I do is I quickly insert one key and pull it right back out so that I make this light go solid. So that light being solid indicates that it is now in learn mode and it wants to learn a key. So now I'm going to take the key that I just had that I just inserted and pulled out quickly. I'm going to put that back in okay so now I'm going to simulate pushing the key again and we're gonna leave it in the ignition for one minute we're not gonna turn it on we're just gonna insert it and leave it okay for one minute now not all cars take one minute but as a general rule of thumb you want to leave it for a minute uh, sometimes this will start flashing and it actually has different types of flash. One flash is a flash saying, okay, I've learned that key. I know that key already, but it's not done with the learn mode. So it wants you to insert other keys or it wants you to close the cycle. Like you can insert one master key and then close the cycle. You don't have to do this. But if we do do three keys, it automatically closes. But that, that's something different. So right now we're waiting for this to blink or we're waiting for at least one minute to happen now there's a really weird flash like really fast flashing that means that you have the wrong key so these use uh, four C chips and if you happen to have a bad one and you have the wrong one you'll see this just instantly start acting funny that's it rejecting the key but let's see I lost count of how long it's been I don't think it's been a minute but let's let's try it so now I'm going to take the key out of the ignition switch. Okay, I'm going to take my second master. And it's very important that you save the valet for third. So I'm going to make sure I get my second master. And I'm going to simulate it going into the switch. Again, I'm not turning it. I'm just inserting it. And we're going to wait for another minute. It's solid still so everything is good with the key it likes the chip it just has to take a minute to learn it
so I don't think it's been a minute yet, but you know, let's let's see if we can just move on to the last key. So now this is the this is the valet key. It will be the final key I add, and by adding in two masters and a valet, it should close the cycle. It should close the cycle by itself. Okay, so now I'm going to simulate inserting the key. And there we go. We see that the cycle is closed. So now we're going to go to our normal operation of it back to being flashing. Now we can s stick our master key in. And when you put your master key in, you should not see this light blink. Remember, I'm not, I haven't inserted it yet because I haven't hit my switch. I have to hit the switch to, for it to be inserted. Your car, when you insert this, now, see, like you never see the red light. That's how you know it's a master key. Master keys you can use to program and delete other keys. Okay, so you always want to have a master key. We're going to check this one to make sure it's a master key. It is. There's no light at all. Now, the valet key is different. The valet key, you cannot use it to make or delete any keys. You can only use it to start the car. Okay, and now when I hit the simulation to insert this key, you're going to see this come on for a brief second and then cut out. That is how you know that this is a valet key. All right. Well, that didn't quite work like it was supposed to. It didn't stay on. So maybe that did program it as a master key. It shouldn't have. But it's, it must have because the light's not coming on. Yeah, so, you know, the older systems are a little bit different than the uh, newer ones with the uh, 4D, 60s in them. But typically a valet key will be solid briefly and then go out. So I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this one is registering as a valet or not, but don't don't care too much. Customer don't really care for a valet key. They just want it master keys. Um, but now I'm gonna hit the button. You'll see that just keep flashing. That's how you know I'm not, you know, doing some kind of camera trick or something. See, we're gonna put the master key back in, and there you go. So these keys are now programmed, all three. Um, that's it. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. I just have to unhook my tester there, put this guy back together, and it's a uh, done deal.